Okay, guys, welcome to Abundant Life Funnies. We are here to hear all the interesting stories and all the... No Brack Pan jokes tonight, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so tonight... Actually, actually just to let you all know, there's no Brack Pan jokes. All yeah. of them are true stories. Believe it, believe it. Okay, so tonight for ABL Funnies, this isn't a talent show. We saw most of you on your talent show. That wasn't that good. So now, tonight, we want you to tell us funny stories that happened in your year. Like, remember that one time that, about, what's her name? Oh, oh, that time. Exactly, bro. I remember that time. Yeah. Remember it's a clear Audrey. day. Yeah. So we want those stories. The stories about that person and that person and the group and everything. But, but we don't want to break them down. No, please. No breaking down. But we want the funny stuff. Mm. Okay. But no dodgy stories, but this guy pulled my underwear and then this happened and then, yeah, we don't want those. Okay. We want stories like, you know, stories of respect for like, for instance, this one. Yeah. I remember, you might not know, but I know over the years I've experienced that he has a huge respect for old people. Amen. Did you know that? Heino really has a huge respect for old people. Where is Heino? Like if any young abundant liver was to speak bad Yo. <laughs> to an old person, I've seen him tackle a girl and put her down on the ground and be ready to punch her. Maybe I've some of it. you can remember that. So um, those are the things we, we want to try and bring out tonight that you can remember about abundant life that was really funny and that we can just enjoy. So please, we want... Stories about the hike, about the bush training, about staying wherever you stayed, if it, if it was in the abundant life house or in the, the center or wherever. We're going to talk about the camps. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with how you started your year. So we're going to go first. We're going to talk about the hike or what happened on the hike. Then we're going to talk about the bush. Then we're going to talk about the training about the camps and about the tours. So in those categories. So start thinking about some And the relationships. Yeah, the relationships. Because we all know, yeah. Mm. Hannah's told us everything and he knows. Those CCTV cameras don't lie. Yeah, Nathaniel. Okay. So, but before we start, we want to start with a prayer. God, I think, is a God of humor because he created all of you and us <laughs> with humors. So we want to start off with a, with a prayer. So where's... Start us off with Let's a prayer. God, we thank you for life and for this awesome weekend that we can celebrate with each other and celebrate what you've done in our lives and also celebrate the, the good times and the funny times that we've had together. And tonight we um, pray that your spirit will be here with us as we enjoy one another's companies and the good old stories that make abundant life. So be present with us tonight. In your name, amen. Amen. Okay, I'll start off with our hike. Now, you all heard Dania's story about how she got the name Nemo, but I remember it quite differently. Mm, okay. Me too. So we were all on the hike enjoying it and, you know, doing our things. And for some or other reason, Dania was always lost. Like she was always a bit late. Okay. And they started to call her Nemo. So she, they called her Nemo. And I can remember... I know we did something. We eventually lost our attitudes. You all remember the attitudes? And so now we're walking there on the farm in Freight, and Danya did something that was she, she wasn't supposed to do. After Heino's told us, don't do this. And she did something, and he gave her an attitude again, right? So now she's carrying this. None of us have our attitudes except Danya, and she's carrying it. And I can remember we just got over this fence, and you know when you're on the hike, they don't, the counselors don't wait for you. They just go. So you're kind of helping everybody over the fence. And I can remember Danya standing there with this rock, and she's like, oh, I'm tired of this. And she just hoys it down. And I'm like, Danya, you're gonna, we're going to run for this. She's like, I don't care. And she just walks. And I kid you not, not even one minute later, Hannah's like, Danya, where's your attitude? And then I just knew, oh, man. And then we ran up and down that, that little dirt road like crazy. And we were so much as anything. And Danya ran and she fell. I don't know if she passed out or what. And someone behind just yelled, Trok! And as, as they said it, Danya just jumped up and she started running. I've never seen anybody run that fast. She, like, she was behind and woof, just in front. 
So that's why she's called Nemo, because she not always, yeah. You remember that, Danya? Okay, so anybody, anybody have a story about their hike? Come on, butterflies, huh? Injections, B12s, anybody had a B12? Here we Nicknames. go. Nicknames. Uh oh, we've heard about this group. Okay. Ons het gestap, ons allemaal ons sakke en alles en ons attitudes en alles gehad. En ons het op by waar gegaan. Ek denk ons het ook iemand geloof. Ons het die sakke gedra. En ons het een vanity case gedra. Ons is hier in sessie en ons ding is een vanity case. Sommige die binnen dat ek die ding gekrap nie, weet. Ja, hulle was nogal goed gemaneerd op die historie. Hulle het nou nie in ons goed gekrap wat hulle gedink het is ons goed. En ons het gedink het is weer dat ouwens een vanity case hier rondra. Want... Dit was niemand van ons, nie. En op by die berg het ons besluit, oe, Avi het gesê, nee, hier is nou genoeg, ons gaan nie die lang pad vat. Hier is ook nie lichter nie. Ja, hy sê, hierdie ding raak ook nie lichter nie. En ons gaan nie lang pad vat oor die berg, ons gaan nou hier afgaan. Tussen die boom en die bosse deur, het ons allemaal daar geslaaid af tot onder, en het ons onderkom tussen ons nauwste tyd. En ons het hierdie wijnete kuis en weid, en toos die ding oopmaak, is hy vol dirkies, en geimkoeldrank, en melkpoeier, en wetpiks, en ja, het het ons daarom koos gehad. Ek wil net een ding vertel. Hou nou is nie een goeie swemmer nie. Ons kry pale en taaiers. Nou moet ons dier een rivier, ach, een dam swem. Nou duik ek in met my taaier, En hy nou sê nie, hy sal my help. Nou begin ons te swem, maar die man kan nie swem nie. Nou meer hy swem, druk hy die taaier af. En hy versuip om half. Hy sê, maar hy kan nie links ons swem nie, kan hy maar die rechter aan swem. En ons draai toe om. Ek sê nie, hy is reg. En ons swem, swem, swem. Maar die man druk my net meer en meer af. En ons is amper tien die kant en ek besluit nie. Dit is nou die sikke tyd en ek los die taaier. En hy vraag, wat is nou feit? Ek sê, as jy nie kan swem nie, jy self versuip nie, ga maar self en kry die taaier. Hier gaan hy nou. Tjoep! gaan kry hy die taaier, en toe kan ons verder gaan. Thanks, guys. Anybody else? Come on, guys. There must be some. Here we go, Joanne. Oh, I've heard of these stories on her guts many times. Kitchen stop. <laughs> okay, I think we were the first group that hiked, but our hike was not as bad as your hike. We were given... Um, we were also given backpacks, and they filled them with rocks, but... With a minute, we put them back on. We were like, hey, these are too heavy, and threw out the rocks. But um, the guys that took us on a hike weren't really involved with abundant life training or anything. They were just really good friends at Heino and them had made in abundant life. But they were these machine, super fit, <laughs> healthy guys. I don't know if you know Christian from Mark, and uh, it was Pierre uh, von der Ness and Edmund von Skolkweg. And I think it was Christian's cousin, Niku, or something was his name. They took us on the hike, but all we had to do, there was none of this um, bad-mouthing anyone or, you know, we just had to keep up with them. That was all we had to do. Just They just went and we just had to keep up with them. And they just, like, they just flew up that mountain and we just had to keep up. And they were eating jelly babies and all this lacquer stuff. And we had wheat picks and pre um, provitas and stuff like that. And we were so desperate for something sweet or <laughs> juicy or whatever. Anyway, after the whole hike thing, we finally get back to now where the other youth and then we're having a bit of a youth camp. Back in those days, Heino wasn't health conscious. They were having a bry place. He was drinking a Coke and he said to us, yellow Liz, and then he poured it out in front of us. And then he told us to go sit under the tree in a group and have our lunch. So we sat there and watched them having their bry place. And Sean carried our backpack. Uh, um, he carried a backpack the whole time that we were hiking. And he sat down and said, okay, well, we, he's got the food in his backpack, so he zipped it open, dishes out the food, whatever. 
and we're eating our miserable two-minute noodles, whatever. And then he comes out with packets of jelly babies. He's like, Jelle Owens, I get the best of last to save. <laughs> and we nearly killed him. We're like, Brie, we needed this on the hike. And he's like, yo, man, there's no pudding, there's no lacquer. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks, Jan. Oh, here comes the other side of the story. <coughs> ja, ek moet my kinders in die bed gaan sit, so ek wil vannig my st- grap vertel en nog, en ek waai. <coughs> um, twee incidente, ek was in 1998 in die groep, so voor jylle gebore was, en uh, die eerste ene, was heel eerste toer, som my nabij, vryheid, <coughs> en um, ons is gelaan, ons het allemaal ons baikies aan, allemaal ons name tags aan, en uh, ons is geboek by uh, Vrijheid Hoer, is een landbouwschool, <coughs> net so voor jy in Vrijheid kom, hy is so in die linkerkant, Hoer school, <coughs> is allemaal shaky, want dit is nou ons eerste program daar, ons het ons pleis, reg, enzovoorts, en jy weet, moest die band het live begin, moest altyd met de introduction, <coughs> groep line op, lang na kort, ek sê leier, <coughs> nou doen ek die introduction, begin, Ek sê, <coughs> goeiemorgen allemaal. Uh, en jylle weet moes in elke dorp, as al moes nou, jy, jy krij altyd die twee skole wat altyd competitie tegen mekaar het. En wat altyd oorlog voer met rugby en sovoort. <coughs> en ek haak af en ek sê, dit is vir ons baie lekker om vir ochend die wie by pionier hoerskool te wees. Maar ek hoor allemaal raak so stil en ek sien nie, Onies kyk so vir mekaar en die metrieks begin so skeep smal en alles. Toe het ek per ongeluk gesê, een pionier is die hoerskool in die dorp en dis hulle enemies. En hier staan ek en ek sê, is lekker om hier by pionier te wees, maar ek dink nie dat ons het baie van ons gehou nie. So dit was ons heel eerste incident, wat ek nou kon onthou, wat nogal funny was. <coughs> en die laaste ene, <coughs> ons het een splei gehad, die teen die einde van die jaar, maar het ons nou alles lekker gepolish het en net die bestes, jy weet, moes jy in die einde van die jaar en al, al jou bestes, jou beste skits en pleis en poppekas en jou speciale items, jy doen net die, want dis wat werk en dis wat lekker is. Nou, ons het, uh, hier in die einde van die jaar het ons mooi koppe by mekaar gesit, <coughs> nie talks gehad met die groep enzovoorts en nieuwe idees en pleis en ons kom toe op hierdie eens splei af. Ek kan nie eers sy naam moet nie. Maar het gaan oor groepstruk. En dit is nou die ideale plei vir hoerskole. Um, want ek meen, jong mense sikkel met die issue van, um, jylle weet waarvan ek praat. Anyway, gedurende hierdie toneelstuk, <coughs> um, raak het nou bykie erg met die groepstriks enzovoort, dan um, wat ons moet doen in die groep, is een paar van ons ouwens, ek denk is twee ouwens, um, ons vat ons onderbroeke, en dan sit ons het oor ons kop. Dit is nou die nieuwe trend, ok, wat iemand nou uitgedink het, soos cellfone en so. En dan, dan kom ons nou op die stage, ek en nou Wally of Donnie, want ons nou ons onderbroek op ons kop, en dit is nou die nieuwe ending, jy weet. En, <coughs> in die begin, het het nou nice gewerk, want jy weet, jy het, onder, jy het so my extra onderbroek saam ingepak vir die toer en alles. Nee, wacht nou, laat ek klaar praat. En dan, is het nou tyd is vir die plei, jy, dan krijg jy goed reg en jy doen jou ding. Uh, maar nou, nou doen jy het moes een paar keer, en jy weet moes nou, programma is, ok, jy sê een klaas, pack up, jy moet gooi, jy moet in, dis in die trailer, in die kombi, waar is die volgende program, directies, en jy is daar so, uit by die volgende school, en ons kom by die hoerskool, en ons het by die vorige hoerskool so pas die onderbroek plei gedoen, noem het nou maar dit, en hier staan ons, en ons moet opgaan op die stage, en sê vir die man, nou hoor jy, maar waar is die onderbroeke? Ok? En een ding leid na ander ding, ons besef toe, ons kan nie nog terug haar kop kombi toe, om jy goed te kry nie. Trek uit, lekker vars en warm, van die fabriek af, en dis op die kop, en daar gaan ons. En ons doen ons plei, en die boodskap is goed, en die jong mense weet ook gesmal, maar ek denk hulle die boodskap gekryp. En, uh, en ons het met ons warm beanies nou die ding gedoen. 
Maar dit is niet, dit is, dit is, dit is, dit is nog niks. <laughs> Genian, true story. Voor die volgende school, of, of bij een andere geleentheid, kom ons ook. En uh, dit komt toe op zo'n so stadium dat van ons mannen is toe, is toe al twee onderbroekloos. Want het is zo so vannig van een program naar die an, van een school naar die andere school. Ik kan niet onthou of het ek was of Donnie of Wally nie, maar iemand moest een sacrifice maak. En ik denk dat was André die klankman, ons moest sy onderbroek leen. <lacht> Want jy kan ons nie op die stage gaan en dit, jy verloor die hele boodskap. En uh, ja, so dis, die, dis, die, dis een goeie ding wat ek kon onthou van ons jaar. En uh, maak jy nou vir sê, ek denk nie het was ek wat om aangehaad het nie, het kon nie ek wees nie. Ek het nog haar. Maar anyway, genere dit van jullie aan, dankie.